taken this front panel off, like I said, so I can have a full airflow through. It does have uh, very good vents, but uh, I actually use it to to video through as well. So we'll take that off. This is actually part of the pass through. So there's another, there's probably two inch gap underneath there, all the way through to the back. There's a panel on the back that you can unscrew. So you can put a 20 foot sheet in there if you like, and just pass it all the way through. Um, or even a door. I'm just going to take this down. Uh, I'll actually show you on the screen here what I'm doing to, con to control the laser. Right, so this is an industry standard uh, control unit. So what I want to do now is focus the uh, laser to the material. It's got automatic focus, so uh, what I want to do first is to lower the table. So we just press that. I'll just swing the camera over a little bit so you can see what's going on there. So we're just taking it down like that. And you'll notice uh, there's a sensor here. This is an infrared sensor. There's one opposite on the other side. And what you do to get the laser to focus is very simply just put your material on the table and I'll just bring you back to the um, to the controller. So you just press menu and the first one that is lit up here is focus. So you press enter. And it's as simple as that. It just does it. I'm going to press this button here which is going to fetch the head over just to check it and I can tell you that that is focused absolutely correctly. So now I'm going to set the material up um, in an area at the front of the bed in the middle so I can uh, get a better filming area. Okay, so I've got a selection of magnets now around here which is going to keep this pretty firm onto the bed. So now I'm going to uh, bring the head over to here and choose my datum point. much. Okay, so I'm just going to make that my datum point or origin. Now I'm going to do a frame. Or with just a slight amount. Be a little bit too far. New origin and frame. Okay, so let's shut the lid, get you lined up to see what's going on, and uh, we'll cut this.
Okay, so that is just one pass, and in places it's gone down two and a half millimeters, which is you know pushing on towards nearly eighth of an inch. Uh, you will notice that um, you you will find wavy areas here. That is the the layering of the wood itself. Uh, this, you know, would be a hard area or a more dense area of wood. But um, hopefully we're going to get rid of some of that because we're going to run that same file once again. So here we go. So that is three uh, passes at high power. I really don't think I need to go any deeper than that. Uh, it's, it's looking okay. Um, what I want to try and do now is just do a, a finishing pass, which is a, a bit of a clean-up pass. It just takes, a, hopefully, takes a little bit of the, um, the blackness out of it before I go and scrub it under the water. So what I'm going to do is alter, oh you'll notice too, I got this running at 600, uh, I raised it up because it was just, um, oh, not exactly slow, but I knew it could run it quite a bit faster. So what I'm going to do is say 45 uh, and leave the uh, minimum power at at one because I know that the laser won't actually fire at um, one percent it actually drops out okay that and we're going to send that to the laser okay so here we go with a little bit of a cleanup pass Okay, so that's um, in places like down here, quarter of an inch or six millimeter in depth, which for, for this size of 3D engraving is fine. So what I'm going to do now is going to use a combination of this brush and this hard bristle painting brush actually and um, we'll clean this up and see what we have. Well that took just under two hours so and you know I have only just roughly very quickly 
Uh, clean that under a tap with a with a couple of brushes. But um, you know, if that was cleaned up more, got rid of more of the, the soot, then uh, out of the, the the grain a bit more and uh, dried up and and vanished would be quite a presentable piece. And this actually goes to prove that you can. Now this isn't small, it's quite large, and you can easily make four of these a day in eight hours. It's just, it'll just do it. <laughs> okay, so I hope you've liked that little demonstration to show you how simple it is if you know what type of 3D relief to go for and what settings to put into your laser perfect product every time and really and truly it is that simple there's no great mystery to it so long as you understand a little bit of the technology or the techniques of to you know, to produce something like that the settings and how a laser beam actually works uh, I will go into more detail about that uh, in the future to try and put across to you exactly how a laser beam works and why it does what it does so thank you for joining me for this uh, video which has been sponsored by Thunder Laser and to help the channel along you could like subscribe leave a comment you know you interact on the video and it goes a long way to for the algorithm to pick it up and push it on and share the video if you think someone else would like it and ultimately if you would like to be a patron to the channel that it, it is actually the the patrons behind the, the channel that actually keep it going so thank you for joining me and I hope you pop in for another video so it's bye for now.